Well, exactly five years ago, the 14th of October 2014, we opened the Vatican for it to the first tenants, the families that are entering in, um, in the building. And well, I could say that uh, uh, now we start to consider this experiment as a kind of successful experiment. The first trees were entering seven years ago, and now after seven years of uh, trees living here, of five years of people, inhabitants, tenants living here, we could say that uh, the capacity of the building to absorb CO2 and transform it in oxygen, the capacity of the building to clean the air of Milan, absorbing the dust of the urban pollution, the multiplication of uh, species. All this means that uh, uh, we are very proud it's so rare in the life of an architect to see the result of uh, such an experimental building and uh, I'm very proud of how this building is uh, representative for Milano. But I'm also very proud because I think that uh, we are now replicating uh, this concept of a building who introduce living nature not only as a decoration but as a basic component of its life. Uh, well, we are reproducing this uh, and regenerating and interpreting this concept in many other parts of the world. In China, in Holland, where we are building the first uh, social housing, vertical floors, so a building will be affordable for everybody. In Belgium, in French, in Mexico, in, uh, in Northern Africa, in India. Uh, well, in many other parts of the world, we are trying to redesign and interpret the story of the vertical forest. And this is probably something which makes what we have done important and makes us so proud. Thank you so much.